Hey, it's your ASMR friend, just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Writer's Republic. Now, when I got the trial version of this game, you only had four hours to demo it. And I cruised through it. I had a blast. Um, you can check out my other video of kind of my first initial thoughts on that or whatever. Another ASMR video for you to enjoy if you want. But when it came to actually getting the game, I was very hesitant. Because it's another $60 game that in a genre that I don't play a lot of and none of my friends are getting the game but when the weekend came I was actually thinking about this game and so I said you know what I'm thinking about it I want to play it so yeah here we are I bought the game and you know obviously the racing the tricks, those are all fun. But for me, I truly like this right now, what you're seeing. The exploration of this map. It just looks beautiful and I like the vibes. So to me, that actually became the selling point kind of after the fact. Because I didn't really actually explore too much in the demo. I was kind of like, you know, figuring it out and just wanted to get into as many races as possible and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't really dedicate the time to doing that. And then when I bought the game, I ended up, you know, taking my time a little bit more. And... Yeah, I like this. I can foresee that this would be a fun game to throw on when you just kind of want to mess around. And there's a lot of fun to be had. Different variety of ways to get around the map. And, uh, yeah. So I just thought I'd show you a little bit all the different ways you can kind of get around and take in the scenery and the first person biking is hands down the best part. It just feels so much faster. I mean, look at it. Well, now I'm on a patch. Bring it on the road again. All right? Like, doesn't that feel great? As opposed to the th third person view, which is definitely fine. And I still kind of switch back here and there in racing because it is a little bit easier to race this way in third person. But ultimately, I want to be better in first person. I mean, just look. It's like instantly, like, whoa. It has just a whole different feel. And I like that. And... Yeah, I wasn't expecting, you know, this exploration where, like, you don't have to do anything. You can just bike around, snowboard, but obviously you want to join in, you want to level up, you want to get new gear and all that. But it's fun that you can just get on your bike, or get on your skis, or get on your jetpack, snowmobile, and just cruise around the map how you want to. And yeah, 
that's just a good recipe for a fun gaming session. And I like, you can see all the white icons of players. You just feel like you're in a playground, this gigantic playground. And certainly for someone like me who, you know, can't take a ton of time off from work, don't go on vacation, don't go on trips as often as um, maybe most people, more people, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't go on vacation much and video games is the escape and this has a great escape. Just feels like I've gone up north for the weekend. And I'm super athletic because look at how long I've been biking. I'm not feeling tired, not feeling worn down. I can keep going. I can even go a little faster. So things that too, I think maybe most people don't talk about with video games, I don't know, is the photo mode. So let's do that. So right now, if I press left on the D-pad, it'll stop and I have the option to do a photo mode. So I can do that, right? And it's not the greatest, you know, definitely young. Like Red Dead and Ghost of Tsushima have really fantastic photo mode. But this is pretty serviceable. And they do have different filters you can go through. You can change the time of day, which is a great feature in photo mode. That should be like standard, I think. It's like you should be able to control the time of day in the photo mode. And on top of that, change where the sun actually hits as you can see on this menu you can add fog you know and then you can add dust I've added rain but it doesn't feel like it actually well now I see it a little bit but that's hard to see Snow is maybe a little bit easier. This kind of looks weird, but you know, it's a little bit there. And then brightness, which is nice. Saturation. Um, you can move the camera back, you can go up, and you can go a good distance, which, like, especially in this game with the environment, you want to be able to get these kind of far away shots, something like that. You know, so yeah, it's actually pretty good. I mean, like, that's not too bad. Yeah, for me, photo mode has become such a fun way to experience a game. It, it's a different layer to it, I think. Um, you know, I don't think necessarily every game needs it, certainly. I would never think to do photo mode and Call of Duty, something like that. But, uh, you know, Red Dead, uh, Cyberpunk, you know, there are definitely games where, like, when well, no, photo mode's good, like, it really just adds another layer of fun for me. So what I appreciate about this game, too, is, like, right now I'm biking, on this snow, right? And it's a little slower because I'm not on a road, but I'm not like moving like a snail, you know? I'm getting by it through pretty nice. And so yeah, I like that it doesn't, they obviously want you to get around comfortably. 
yeah, they uh, did a pretty good job, I think. I'm not actually sure where where I'm going. I think I must I might have marked that a long time ago. That's what's great. Like I don't know where I'm going. Not exactly sure what I'm quite doing, but it's just fun, you know. And I am terrible at racing games. I do not particularly usually like racing games. I just the genre that I don't do well in, but you know, the way I'm approaching this game is like when it comes to the racing and the tricks, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stay on the tracks and to keep moving forward. You know, the goal is to finish. I don't expect to win. Because let's face it, there are players that are just, A, insane. They could just pick up a racing game without much knowledge of it and just still beat you, even if you had played 300 hours of it. Or there's the people that play this game, you know, like four hours a day. Um, and they know the tracks. They have the movement, the timing, everything down. And I just, I'm not, when it comes to the racing, it's just not my forte. Um, so, it's like for me, it's like, let me just try to finish, you know? Let me just try to finish. Uh, as you can see too, if you see little hills, you can kind of aim for them. And well, that was not the greatest, but and then you can just do tricks. And the beauty of any game is the ability to fast travel. And look at that. Once you've loaded in a game like that, and fast travel is actually fast travel. It's not like a Red Dead cutscene. So, that is very, very nice. So, getting around feels great. And then at any time, I can get off my bike on the D-pad, down on the D-pad. I can just walk around. Honestly, in a biking extreme sports game, the idea that you can actually just walk around this entire map is awesome. It's great. Like, that's just such a nice little mechanic they did. And I appreciate when developers find that way to add a different fun factor for, you know, certainly gamers like me. You might see this game like, why would I ever walk on foot when I have a bike or when you unlock a snowmobile? And at any time, even though now these two are locked for me at the moment, but I can still get a bike, I can get my snowboard or my skis. Wait a minute. Do I actually have a snowmobile? Oh my god. You guys, I had no idea that I had this. I thought this was still locked for me. So there you go. See? Just so much. And in the few hours that I've played this, it's really fun to just, you know, get around, take it in, and, you know, even though I'm pretty good about playing video games, I don't check on my phone or anything. Certainly with this one where you're kind of always attentive a little bit. It's 
It's been a great stress reliever. Oh. Ouch. But yeah, so I can... I unlocked this rocket wing. Which is what you saw in the intro. I also, I knew that you could do this in the race. You know, I didn't really research this game or look too deep into it. But you unlock this pretty quickly. I mean, I think I'm at like, I think I got it like the four hour mark, something like that. Not too long. You know, it's not like, oh, once you get 30 hours in, no, it's pretty quick. And then you can either press X or L1. I mean, come on. How freaking sweet is this? <laughs> 